Hello, dear ones. It's so good to be with you today. Our daughter, Jessica, is an educator, a very serious educator. She teaches high school. Uh, she does values formation work, uh, teaches Toni Morrison, and, and uh, she's really a superb teacher. And she asks insightful questions. A few weeks ago, she asked us, was there anything in your experience prior to ministry that helps shed light on the fact that the hallmark of your ministry has been an invitation to the laity into sharing the ministry more fully? It's a wonderful question, and I began to think about that question. And what came to mind almost immediately was singing in the Chicago Children's Choir was the way in which we learned to listen, we learned to harmonize in ways that called forth our own voices in equal measure to the invitation to listen to others. Music has been for me that wonderful creative balance between listening and finding my own voice. In our previous church, back in Oakland, we went away one summer. It was the second year, I believe. We had spent uh, much of the year working with a marvelous young intern by the name of Lindy Ramsden, and she agreed to be summer minister. And we went away for the summer, and we came back, and the congregation was larger than it had been by a substantial percentage. I like to say twice the size. I don't know. But it had grown considerably. And, more importantly, they were singing a cappella in parts. They had learned to listen to one another, and they were finding their voices. That process of learning to listen and finding your voice is not only at the heart of music, at the heart of many creative endeavors, it's also at the heart of effective shared ministry. For years now, more than 20 years here at Unity Church, we have been learning to listen and we have been finding our voices. You have been learning to listen and you have been finding your voices. This coming Sunday is our annual Arthur Foote Music Sunday. And we have suffered so by not being able to sing together on Sundays, not being able to sing together on worship, in worship, not being able to fully embody that marvelous process of listening and bringing our own voices to bear. There will be some live music in the sanctuary on Sunday as we begin to pivot toward reopening. What I want to say today, though, is that the music we make together is exemplary, is a model it arises out of that balance between listening and speaking, between silence and sound, out of which ministry arises. So, Jesse, good question. And yes, there was a foreshadowing of that powerful sense of shared ministry, that powerful invitation which has been the hallmark of and the center of our ministry at Oakland and certainly here in St. Paul. Thanks for helping me to reframe it and to understand the song we sing together. Thank you, friends. Tune in on Sunday for wonderful, wonderful music.